have you ever faced uh, an engine light or a maintenance light on your motorcycle and knowing full well that it's just for an oil change, but the only way to get rid of that little engine light is to go to the dealer and pay a certain amount of money to turn that off. But since you do your own oil change, you do your own maintenance, you don't really feel the need to spend that kind of money. How do you get rid of that light? Some motorcycles let you just switch that off and it's easy and cars do that as well. But other motorcycles like the Triumph Tiger Sport 660 that I have, uh, only the dealer is allowed to make that change. How do you get rid of it? You may have heard of these OBD devices that can hook up to your motorcycle or your car and let you uh, read air codes, engine codes, um, that sort of thing. A lot of these are just kind of cheap Chinese junk that you can get off the uh, Amazon or eBay and they'll let you read the code and that's about it or maybe clear the code as well. That's pretty much the extent of these little cheap things and they cost about 20, 30, 40 bucks maybe at most. But there are other ones that you can connect to your phone or your tablet or your laptop and they'll let you do a, a more extensive uh, amount of analysis and has plenty of other options that will let you make changes to your motorcycle or car. In this particular case, I am reviewing the OBD Link LX. It's a tiny little doohickey that you can plug into your OBD reader in your bike or your car and hook up to your laptop or your tablet uh, through Bluetooth. And using the app that they provide, you can look at some of the more advanced options that are available to you through this little thing. The reason why I got this is because this seems to be one of the only methods where you can get rid of that little engine light that tells you to go get your maintenance packet done at the Triumph dealer. I don't need to do that. I do my own maintenance. So I need to make that thing disappear. In order for me to do that, I'll have to plug this in and uh, see how that works. Stick around. Let's take a look. So you can see in my particular case, once I turn on the ignition switch, the little icon for the maintenance is there and I can't do anything about it. That's about as far as you can go. You can't really adjust this. So the hope is that this OBD reader is going to let me make that change. So the setup is pretty easy. You turn on your engine. You find your OBD sensor, which is in this case right here. It's pretty gross looking. You can see it's lighting up. That's the actual Bluetooth device that you need to pair right here. That's the name. So once you have your OBD Link LX uh, tool connected to the bike, I'm using the Tune ECU app, not the OBD Link app because the OBD link app is primarily for cars, not really made for bikes, doesn't have all the tools. So the Tune EC, uh, you're going to have to download for your Android tablet or your Windows, I believe, is okay as well. But through their website, it's not available on the Play Store. So you click on it, you'll have to pay a small fee, I think 28 bucks to uh, use all the features and register your bike. And once you're there, you should be able to connect. So as you can see, we have a display. You can do lots of different things here. You can change the parameters and click on the ECU. Connect. Okay. You can see it's connected. It's reading the battery right now. Click on the ECU. Click on adjustments and then click reset service manual run. Validate. That's as far as it can go. It's 
And as you can see, it is gone. And you're all set. And now you're, you can do other things with this. Error codes, other adjustments and tests. Is it worth 28 bucks? I would say so because otherwise you'd be taking it to the dealer, spending the time to do that, spending however much money they're gonna charge you for it for an hour's worth of work, 90 bucks, 70 bucks, 150 bucks, whatever. Uh, definitely worth it. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It'll help my channel grow. Check out some of these other videos and I'll see you next time. Ride safe.